Hey, welcome back to the channel. Another overnight mission on the jet ski. Plan of attack today is Morton Island, so we're gonna be camping on the northwestern side of Morton Island. The wind's looking good, the jet ski's loaded up, so yeah, plan is just to get out of the marina here. I'm here at Scarborough again, and yeah, headed across to Morton Island. Bit of check, probably get over, check out the Tangalooma wrecks, um, bit of fishing. Might even push out off Cape Morden, we'll see how we're going, and maybe have a spare, we'll see what the biz is looking like. Um, and yeah, so, all loaded up, let's go. Okay, so I'm over halfway across and absolutely beautiful conditions like it's probably one of the nicest days I've been across. I usually pick I don't know 15 20 knots southeasterly, so today it's around five, I'm picking up to around 10 knots, a bit of a northeasterly. Um, but yeah, they're absolutely stunning out here. And I was quite surprised, I don't know if you can see it in the distance. It's a bloody cruise ship at Tangaluma. So yeah, I don't know if I'm I'm gonna go check it out today or not, or stay away. It'll probably be a bloody shit show, but we're over here, so we might as well go check it out. Oh yeah, absolutely cracker. Okay, the plan is to keep on heading across and go and find my campsite for tonight. So set up camp, unload the ski, so lighten the load a bit, and then go for a bit of explore. So let's do it. So I've just arrived at where I'm going to be staying tonight and look at this, absolutely magic. Look at that water. But yes, I'm on the northwestern uh, camping area, so found a spare spot. It's quite busy, but um, yeah, I'll start unloading the gear and go from there. Magic spot, looking, yeah, beautiful. So, let's get camp set up. Okay, I just realized I've left my tent pegs at home. So I'm gonna try and work out something to at least kind of make it half decent for a sleep tonight and hopefully it doesn't rain. Okay, that should do the job. Nothing flash, but we'll keep the uh, bugs away from me tonight, so winning.
Oh, well, that sucks. I've just lost my um, fins off the side of my ski. Uh, no! Oh, what a pain. I thought they might float, but I think they've sunk and I just yeah, lost track of it too quick. Bugger. Okay, well, quarter past four. And yeah, just kicking back with a beer. Magical spot, just got the um, jet ski kind of anchored. So it seems to be pretty, sitting pretty well, and I've got it far enough out that it should be fine for low tide. Uh, the only thing I might do is add a little light on it tonight, but that's it just out there. But yeah, good day, just apart from losing the fins. Still kicking myself on that one, but never mind. Okay, super easy dinner tonight. <clears throat> I'm just going to be doing the on-track meals. Got the swing south pork, and just going to add some two-minute noodles with it. So very simple, but should be tasty.
Okay, hey, hey, good morning. Bit of a rough night. Oh, the old uh, tent was, yeah, not too bad, but a little bit of drizzle during the night and a little bit worried about the jet ski, so. But the jet ski is still there. Okay, good morning. Just been for a 10k run, and now it's time to have a cuppa and also have some bricky. Today I'm going to try the on track meal uh, all day breakfast, so I'm looking forward to this one. It's delicious chunks of chorizo, smoked bacon, champions, mushrooms and red kidney beans with a note of garlic and herbs. So that should hit the spot after the run. Oh, and I also went for a swim, which is beautiful. But yeah, crack it out. Okay, so we've packed up camp and the wind has dropped off beautifully. So yeah, it's really flattened out from this morning. It's gonna be an awesome ride back. Um, I might push a little bit north, have a look out to the north of Morden and then mosey on, mosey on back to Scarborough. So but yeah, looking like it's gonna be a dream ride back, which is awesome. Okay, let's load the bits and pieces up. And then, get out of here. As I headed back towards Scarborough, there were plenty of bus stops on the way. I tried flicking every type of slug I had in the old tackle box to no avail. But yeah, still a bit of fun chasing the, chasing the schools of fish around the, around the bay. But yeah, around 30 minutes and I was back at Scarborough Ramp and my first solo trip um, or camping trip to Morden Island was done and dusted. So yeah, great trip. Great time away. Uh, if you are planning on doing something similar, make sure you are prepared. Uh, you never know what could happen and be aware that the bay um, can quickly chop up. So, but yeah, otherwise get out there, get into it and enjoy.